Today, in a simple and clear way, I'm going to share with you the indicators I use every day to put the odds of winning my stock and option trades drastically in my favor. By the end of this video, you will know and understand four simple indicators you can use to consistently put cash into your pocket every single month. I'm Randy Perez. I'm a 22 plus year stock and option trader as well as real estate investor. Over the many years that I've been trading stocks and options, I've tried almost every indicator available to traders. Today, you get the best of the best in my opinion. If you've not already done so, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you get an alert every time we release a new video. This channel is committed to helping you be a more profitable stock and option trader. The first indicator is also my favorite and it's moving averages. Let me show you why moving averages are such a powerful tool for us stock and option traders. Put simply, moving averages tend to act as support and resistance for stocks. Here's an example of that. This is the chart of Aflac, ticker symbol AFL. It's an insurance company known by their duck mascot. Notice how many times over the past year and a half, the green 50 and red 200 moving average on the daily chart has acted as support and resistance for Aflac. The yellow arrows show where the moving average is acted as support and the white arrows show where it's acted as resistance. Here's one more example in the internationally known company Coca-Cola. Again, notice how many times the 50 and 200 moving average on the daily chart acted as support and resistance. I can show you thousands and thousands of charts just like these that prove that moving averages tend to act as support and resistance. As you see, it's not a 100% guarantee, but more times than not, you can count on moving averages to serve as support or resistance. How can we use this to help us make better stock and option trades? On this channel, I don't just talk about stock and option trading, I'm also a stock and option trader. So let me show you an example of how I use moving averages to make a little wad of cash a couple weeks ago. Here you see the daily chart of a company that probably every single one of us uses, Visa. Notice over the past year that the green 50 and on occasion the red 200 moving averages have repeatedly served as support for Visa. On January 15th, this is what the chart looked like. Visa had declined from a high of around 220 down to right at its 200 red moving average as you can see here which is right around 200. Based on what I just showed you in Aflac and Coca-Cola charts, and based on what you're seeing here in this chart of Visa, what do you think Visa will do? Go up, go down, or go sideways? Now I know we don't know this with 100% certainty, but what is the most likely scenario that will happen to Visa stock? Maybe you came to the same conclusion that I did on January 15th. I believe that it would stop declining, either hang out where it was at, resting right on the support level of the red 200 moving average, or maybe even bounce off the red 200 moving average and go up in price. Here's the option trade that we did. As you can see here, we sold the February 19th 195 put option and received $4.15 per share. In case you don't trade options, by selling a put option, we had a bullish position on in Visa. We expected it to stay where it was, or maybe even increase in price. I did not expect it to go down in price. Well, what happened? As you can see here on the far right, we have now fast forwarded to today, February 6th. And you see that Visa did continue to come down and decline just below the moving averages, but the moving average held and Visa proceeded to increase in price by $15 over the next four days. On February 5th, with Visa trading right at $210 per share, that short put option that we sold for $4.15 was then only worth $0.40. Cents. So as you can see on the screen, we bought that option back to close it out. This position ended up paying us a 33.4% annualized non-leveraged cash on cash return. If this is the kind of content that you find valuable, please simply tap the thumbs up and like button. It helps me know that you want to continue seeing this type of content and it supports this channel. Let me give you one more example of a trade we did in the past month to show you how moving averages can act as support and resistance. Here you see the daily chart of a pharmaceutical company, Amgen, ticker symbol AMGN. This is what the chart looked like on January 14th. As you can see here, several days earlier, Amgen had crossed over and went above both the 50 and 200 moving averages. I did not know exactly what Amgen would do, but I felt pretty confident that if it came back down to the green 50 and red 200 moving average, that those moving averages would serve as support, if anything, temporarily. With my knowledge of moving averages, I decided to again sell a put option right at the 50 and 200 moving average. For that, we were paid $5 per share or we received $500. Well, what happened? 
As you can see here at the white arrow, Amgen took off until it reached a peak right around 260 per share. At that point, the short put option we had sold 12 days earlier was only worth 95 cents per share. So as you can see here, we bought up to close the position out. In all, we pocketed $4.05 per share. That equates to a 53.6% annualized non-leveraged cash on cash return. You might be asking the question, okay, so you use the moving average to go do a bullish trade at Amgen, but how did you know when it was the right time to get out of the position? That takes us to the next simple indicator I use when I enter and exit a position. Let's go back to our chart here of Amgen. I'm going to back it up and show you right up to the day after we closed our bullish trade. At the bottom, in the volume section, Notice what was happening to the volume bars. Although the green up candlesticks continued for several weeks, the volume was decreasing. This told us that the interest in buying Amgen was also decreasing. Buyers were getting less and less excited to buy at those prices. This fact was absolutely confirmed the day after we exited our bullish position by the large red down candle on the far right of the chart. This large down day was done on, as you see at the bottom, under volume, on a lot higher volume than over the previous several weeks. If we had an exit this position the day before, we definitely would have done so the next day because the sentiment has switched from excitement to buy stock over to excitement to sell stock. You see, the next day, the volume to the downside was even higher. And over the next three days, Amgen continued to decline. But notice that the volume on the red down days was again starting to diminish. Where the yellow arrow is, Amgen actually switched from declining in value to a slight up day. At this point, we realized that the down momentum was starting to fade in Amgen. So we sold the February 19th, 235 put options and received an additional $4.65 per share. Will this be a profitable trade for us? Well, we don't know yet. But we do know that both volume and moving averages on the daily chart tell us that we are in a high probability trade. As option traders, all we need is for Amgen to be above our short strike price of $235 on expiration day. If it's not, then as option traders, we can always roll the option out for an additional credit and give ourselves more time to win in this position. If you'd like to receive alerts as soon as we make these kind of trades, that I just talked through, consider the benefits of becoming a patron at the link in the description below. What subject would you like a future video to be about? In the comments below, let me know what subject you'd like to see a future video on and stay tuned in until the end of this video where I will share with you where you can find more extremely valuable and yet free information on how to use technical analysis to become a more profitable stock and option trader. This third technique I'm going to share with you is an extremely powerful tool that every trader should be using. Using. using this technique will give you an almost unfair advantage on other stock and option traders who don't use it. The third technique or tool that I use that in my opinion every stock and option trader should be using is to consider multiple time frames before entering a trade. Let's go back to our Amgen trade. On the left you see the daily chart and on the right you see the weekly chart. The question is did both of these time frame charts moving averages and volume indicate that it was a good time to enter a bullish trade? The answer is absolutely. Over on the daily chart on the left, again, you see that Amgen was trading above the 50 and 200 moving averages. If you look down at the volume on the bottom in the white rectangle, you see that the previous several weeks have been dominated by green up volume days. Did the weekly chart confirm that there was buying pressure in Amgen and that there was good support with Amgen's weekly moving averages? Here you see the answer to those questions and the answer is yes. At the yellow arrow is where we entered our bullish trade. Amgen was trading not only above the red 200 moving average, but also the green 50 moving average on the weekly chart as well. If you look down at the volume in the yellow box, Again, Amgen had been seeing strong buying pressure as you see by the abundance of green up volume weeks. By combining these simple indicators, moving averages, volume, and then looking at multiple time frames, we put the odds of winning on this trade drastically in our favor. If you'd like more information on how we use technical analysis to put the odds of winning our stock and option trades in our favor, check out the video in the link above and the description below entitled, How to Trade Using Technical Analysis. In that video, I talk about one more technical analysis tool that I use every time I make a stock and option trade. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.